Yo, what's up? My name's Metro Boomin, because my beats go BOOM! And also because I live in the Metro. Nobody wants to pay producers these days. Leland Tyler Wayne, better known as Metro Boomin, is a hip-hop and trap producer who's had a hand in some of the biggest music productions of this decade, from Tuesday to Jumpman, to more recently Bad and Bougie, Mask Off, and Congratulations. He also had like three collaborative albums in 2017. That's a lot. Double or Nothing, Without Warning, and Chop Top Wop, but that was a mixtape, but you know, what's the difference? Odds are, this guy has been in your ear holes. And today we're gonna learn how to make Metro Boomin. So strap on your bandana, and let's get Boomin. Is that what you say? Strap on a bandana? Mount on a bandana? I don't know. Open up FL Studio 12. Oh wait, real trap producers use FL Studio 11. Actually, real trap producers make their beats with kindling and flint. Get it? Because that makes fire. Most Metro Boomin beats are around 140 to 150 BPM, sometimes a little faster, but this is a good starting number. Find a smooth 808 sample. You don't want it to sound overly distorted or crispy, so not like a broccoli 808 bass but more like this. All I have for post-processing is a little wave shaping and EQ just to make it boom, just that little bit more. Surprisingly, a lot of Metro's tracks don't have kicks. Not all, but a surprising amount. The 808 will just stand on its own. Some have accentuated pitch starts, so the lack of kick isn't too noticeable. If you want that, you just need to create a little pitch envelope at the start of the sample to get that effect. The reason for the lack of kicks could be to distract less from vocals, or having a kick might make it a bit too clubby. Get that Metro Boomin' clap. Metro will much more often use a clap on the 2 and 4 instead of snare. He still uses snares, but more as a sort of percussion sound to add more rhythm to the beat. Like this. And just remember, when in doubt, layer up. Add hi-hats. Of course, you don't want to just have your hi-hats stay on a simple 8th note rhythm, because that, that is boring. boring. So you want to make some of your hi-hats more rapid than the others. But take it from the man himself. A lot of people just slice hats up and like they're just in random places and just all over the place. It just sounds crazy. I can go crazy. Think before you chop up your hi-hats. Now we have the beat down, we should start creating some melodic stuff. I find a lot of his tracks to have this weird trippy ambience to them. To me, it sounds like a reverse recording of an instrument with lots of reverb. You know, I just think reverb makes everything sound a little cooler. If you weren't lazy like me, you could record and reverse your own piano melodies, but I thought this sample worked really well for what I was looking for. Just make sure it's in a minor key for that dark, murky, life in the trap vibe. Almost all Metro songs have some sort of arpeggio. They're subtle, not too plucky, and of course, also in the minor key. Metro says he uses Nexus a lot, which is pretty much the ultimate preset picker machine. So don't worry about scary words such as sound design and synthesis. I've really used Nexus since I started making beats. I like to be real, like, real, real secretive, secretive and possessive about, about that. You hear that? Metro Boomer doesn't want the whole world to know he uses Nexus. So let's just keep it between us, okay guys? I repeat, Metro Boomin uses Nexus. Keep it a secret, okay? Nexus is actually quite popular among hip hop producers, which is funny because most of the presets in Nexus are like these ultra EDM y bro sounds. Metro Boomin goes on to say that he uses the Prid sidechain bass a lot in his productions, part of the XB Dance Volume 1 expansion pack. One of Metro Boomin's biggest productions to date has to have been Mask Off by Future, which features this prominent flute sample. Now I don't want to get copyright strike for sampling song, but I also didn't want to cheap out. Fortunately, high quality flute samples are available just for the low price of 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 5. Honestly, that's just priceless. Don't forget to use the occasional use of tape stop and mutes just to keep the beat interesting and to accentuate whatever the rapper is saying. Make sure to record your producer tag and stretch it out long so it gets all grainy. Lil Dill Pickle up in your face. And on that boom shell, let's take a listen to our Metro, metro Beating boom. boom. I mean, Metro, metro boom boom and Beat. Metro Boomin Trap Beat. There we go. Yeah. It's your boy. Recording. In the studio, Ethel Studio, no, not a real actual studio. I'm just clarifying that. Yeah, banana, 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 banana. What? Banana, uh, banana, banana, yeah. banana, banana. Who? Banana, ooh, banana, 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 uh, banana, uh, banana, banana, 
banana, banana, yeah, banana, uh, banana, headband. When I get back at Atlanta, Vroom. I'ma put on my bandana. <laughs> get out here with your fedora. Yo, yeah. do I look like Indiana? <laughs> Smoking up cheese in Havana. <laughs> Michael, Hannah, Montana. Psycho. For lunch, I ate a banana. Potassium. So I don't run out of mana. <laughs> Auto greed allows you to draw two cards from your deck and add them to your hand. Um, future. Yeah. What? Seriously, what? I'm future. I'm future.